Protest leaders on the ground are not necessarily those elected into the position. Not many of those voted into power have made appearances in front of the crowd so far. WHS 11's political editor Chris Williams is live with a look at how leaders are responding to what's happening on the streets. Doug, that early morning shooting happened in a state house district with a representative who has been very outspoken. The mayor tried to make an appearance there days after many have questioned whether he needed to meet with the demonstrators. The crowd quickly verbally turned on Mayor Fisher and he left the scene. Representative Attica Scott serves in the 41st district or caught up with her via FaceTime today. She said it's beyond time for leaders like the mayor and governor to stand with protesters. Governor Andy Bashir today said that he thought Mayor Fisher was trying to do a good job in unprecedented times. He too has not made an appearance at the demonstrations. Representative Scott has recalled being hit by tear gas over the weekend at what she described as an otherwise peaceful protest. She insists that those leading these protests have been clear in their demands and peaceful. What happens from here is that people have got to hold accountable um, law enforcement. They've got to hold accountable their elected officials at every level. I don't care how much you like them or how much they're your favorites or your uncles and you want to do memes about them. You hold them accountable. It does not, it has not helped one bit to have the National Guard here. It has resulted in murder. Representative Scott insisted that it is not a leader's place to tell people how they feel and how they should deal with their hurt, that it, this is not appropriate, and so she's not doing that. She does say that Congressman John Yarmouth reached out to her about the experience she had being hit by tear gas and that she really appreciated his call. Reporting live in downtown Louisville, Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News.